brand new adventure. Oh, there's a gate. I guess we're going to have to walk today. <laughs> hey, we're on a really cool adventure. This is Todd with, oh, we've got a parking place at least. Todd with Appalachian uh, History <laughs> Detectives. And then he, we have a giant permission up here that Todd got. And it's what, a couple thousand acres or something, a bunch yeah. of houses. Um, but unfortunately, we have to walk because the gate's locked. You up for it? Yeah. Is it going to be worth it? Yeah. Never been here. Never been here. All right. Yeah. And there are a lot of houses up here. Just, no. I mean, they're not there anymore. They're right? not there yeah. anymore. Yeah, oh, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, let's go. What do you say? Let's go. We're hiking up a mountain. We've got a long way to go. It's full of caves and crevices and cracks, probably bears and timber wolves in there. <laughs> Todd doesn't have his gun. He's all freaked out. I don't have a gun, man. I don't have a gun. But you got the chair. <laughs> it will be fine. Uh, a lot of old home sites up this mountain that Todd has researched that probably aren't standing, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but we're hoping they're like super old and loaded with artifacts and cool relics and maybe some undiscovered history that we can piece together for the local area. It's going to be a great trip. Yeah. If Todd doesn't kill me. For this uphill climb. So we're hiking up to the top of the mountain where our permission is. We don't actually have permission right here, but there's no mailbox, which uh, no one lives up there, but check this out. Maybe they lived there at one time. Look at the address. Can you read it? Can you? It says, I dig. <laughs> what are the chances? I dig. <laughs> Let's go dig, Todd. It's a good sign, it's a good omen. So Todd and I have been at it now for about three hours. We've been uh, hiking all over the mountains. I think we're getting close to where we need to be. I believe this is a foundation of a house right here. I have not detected it yet, but see that's clearly stacked and kind of squared out a little bit and goes up into that field. Todd, I think, actually I just saw him walking down through the field there. We're looking for a standing house. That's a pile of stones right there. Uh, it's just field stones. I already checked. There's no iron. Look like they might have had a spring dug up there. So we might want to go up on the hill there too. That's got to be a foundation. Yeah, it looks burned. Uh, soil looks burned. So something was going on right here. All right. Let's go around the other side. Well, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. What's this? That's some strange looking stuff. This is my first find, very fitting, a shovel. <laughs> All right. I can't tell how old that one is either, but it's uh, it's old enough, I think. So right over there is where I found the shovel with a little like uh, pathway up between the stack stones. So I came up here to look around to see if I could find any housey stuff. And this is what I'm finding. I don't know what this is. I don't know if they made lime here. I don't know if that's lime or not. Uh, but it's a big, thick layer of it. I guess that's what it is. I'll take a little chunk home with me, and we'll look at it a little bit closer. I don't even know how deep that goes, but I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i look around here just a little bit, but I suspect this is some type of little uh, place where they just made lime. Todd hollering. Uh, he must have found the, the main house we're looking for. It's down that way a little ways. A couple minutes here, and then we'll, we'll go down there. I'm pretty sure this was lime, uh, they're making lime here. Cause look at all these little broken up rocks and that's what they would do is they'd break up rocks like that, make a little gravel and they'd put it in with charcoal and um, something else and then burn it and it would make uh, lime like that. So a little lime, lime furnace, pretty cool. Normally there's a big structure, but of course they, someone could have robbed the rocks to build a house at some point too. All right, we'll look around here just a little bit longer. Um, something weird going on over there, we're going to check, and then we're going to go down the valley to Todd. Eventually. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, this is kind of cool too, isn't it? Still in the uh, lime kiln area, and I got a nice signal here, so I went ahead and dug it up. And guess what? It's a little sledgehammer that's broken. And this is what they used to break up the big rocks, to make little rocks, to feed the uh, kiln. <laughs> that's pretty cool right there. Probably no, no record at all in any history of a lime kiln being right here. But now we know. But Todd should be down in this valley somewhere. The, um, this, the, all these uh, fields and stuff, this is like way up on the mountain. There's no houses around, except this one old one that should be down here somewhere. Don't know when someone last lived in it. 
but we'll uh, we'll figure it out. But yeah, you have to take like jeep trails to get up here. It's really kind of a weird place, isn't it? And these things are horrible to walk through. You know, one thing I always warn against is uh, not going under trees. You should never go under trees when you're out here. Um, you should always try to go around them, but well, that looks pretty safe. I wonder. I just won't touch it. All right. Ah, there's the house. Now, supposedly the owner was telling Todd that, you know, that house is standing. But there's also a lot of foundations in the woods around and in the fields around it. So we're hoping there's a bunch of old, older houses even. All right, let's go down. Looks like there's a wee bit of a foundation there, maybe. Looks like they were slightly stacked up. Oh, look at these old vehicles. Love it. Make nice check rig. <laughs> All right, let's go back through here. Well, hold. No, I'm not going that way. <laughs> it's because you hold your breath. We're not going to do that. I think there's a gate up here. I saw. Man, this is beautiful. I think if we ever have a zombie apocalypse, this might be the place I come to. Definitely some little foundation right there. That old vehicle we just looked at. Here's another one. I guess that's an old Willys, I suppose, huh? Yeah, Willys W. <laughs> cool. Well, we have an outhouse if we need one. A Johnny Pot. There's another barn down the back behind it or something, too. Nice pond down. There. Oh, this is where we need to be. Could be a cemetery on that little ridge right there. There's another old Jeep over there, look at that. From the World War II Willys. I bet. I'm just glad I didn't find you hanging up by your feet, skinned out, and still alive. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> so it finally caught up to me. What do you think? I like it. Looks like it's horribly junky. Yeah. Horribly junky, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's interesting. Oh, no, I didn't see the wheel. So this, this is the uh, your buddy on this. Yep. Oh wow! So we can go in if we can get in. Yep. Look at that six over six panes, nice and wavy. Oh, I don't know about detecting, but I tell you, it looks horrible. You, you find? Oh, there's your well. Hold your breath. Now I wish, wish I brought my uh, cameras. That's a death trap. Ooh, got a basement, Todd. Got a basement, probably full of bodies. That's a barn. Wow, like a bird nest in there or something. It's awesome to have one of these. Well, not this one, but that's a shame. Apparently there was like a whole community here at one time back in the day. I don't see a school or foundation. All right, let's take a peek in the basement. This house is like 1840s. Um, there's, we can tell. I think anything old's gonna be really deep under this stuff though. It's a raccoon. see some old bottles or something but I don't think I'm gonna see any bottles just bones yeah just bones beautiful uh 
see where the hung stuff on the walls. Nice timbers right there. That was replaced, of course. Well, pretty neat. Don't think we're gonna find, oh, there's a hole, no, that was a skeleton. That's a uh, springs from a bed. All right, let's get out of here. So Todd's around the front of the house detecting, I'm um, putting around the back. I just found a uh, harmonica reed, but I'm also just finding tons of junk, just like mason jar lids and cans and horrible, horrible stuff. <laughs> Still on the back part of the house here, and it's not quite as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, there's a lot of junk, but there's some interesting stuff. One shovel full of dirt I just took out. Great squeaker right here. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's too old, it's brassy. Got a shotgun shell and the same shovel full and a big old piece of uh, pottery of some sort. So there's definitely stuff in here and it's potential, uh, potential that we could actually find something old. Large center something. Again, it was built in the 1840s. We think the 40s, so there could be even Civil War stuff around here if they served in the military. I was hoping they did and they lost their buckle right there. This is a little like ash scoop or coal scoop from a, uh, one of the fire, oh, fireplace, well, could be a fireplace, but probably one of the stoves so they could clean it out. I'm missing the handle, of course. There's a house over there. We kind of, we hunted for about half an hour, didn't find too much. A lot of junk uh, from the deer hunter. So we're uh, searching around different areas now, and there's another house foundation right here. See, it had lightning rods, so uh, I'm not sure how that dates it, but looks like a pretty old foundation for sure. Big stone wall on the other side. Let's look around here. If I find something good, I will show it to you. If I don't, you'll probably see me at the next one. <laughs> I haven't actually found anything yet, but I wanted to show this to you in, in case I forget. This is the foundation we're looking at. Old houses over there. This is the foundation. This was actually part of the house here. These are the beams, still got square nails. But look at that massive chimney right there. Giant chimney right there. So this was a huge house. Went all the way down to there. All right. Let's find some stuff. So we've got a big iron signal here. Um, we're right where the house would have stood, which was this thing, naturally. But look at all the uh, china and stuff that's in the hole. And it's way down in here, too. Um, yeah, so this, this house uh, has a deep artifact layer. Hopefully, we'll find something good. Everything that was in the house, and it rotted away, and it did rot away. It didn't burn because there's still timbers there would have settled down right where we are. Now hopefully if there are any coins in the walls or little bags hidden of uh, jewelry in the in the floorboards, it settled down not too deep here. Cause we'll never hear way down there if there's iron on top. This is loaded with square nails and stuff too. And bones. <laughs> All right, hey, let's just check this real quick. I haven't checked it. Move that out of the way. I got the discrimination really high in here. Not hear any good squeaks. Okay, let's button her up and see if we can find a coin in here. So this is my first non ferris find and it's a beautiful uh, bowl to an old spoon. Uh, so this could date to the 1700s, early 1800s. A nice big beautiful signal right there. I've been finding a lot of uh, big pieces of iron too and some broken glass. Todd's, oh yeah, Todd's on the hill over there heading down to where he thinks the schoolhouse. Look across here, you can kind of see him through the cattails. I'm going to stay over here for a few more minutes. Another good squeaker here, and I can see it down in there. I've not pulled it out of the hole. I'm going to guess that's probably another spoon bowl. Oh, maybe a handle, huh? Yeah, that's the handle. Oh, it'd be neat if it was complete. I better be a little more careful. I don't think it is because it wiggles. It's probably the uh, other part. To yeah, look at that. Wow, that's a beauty. That is a beauty right there. This is probably the other part of the one I just found. That's an oldie too. It's not um, it's not something new. Let's get the uh, the bowl out and look at it. I found the bowl uh, up there by those rocks. Let's see here. Yeah, I'd say that could go together, huh? <laughs> oh man. Ah, it'd be nice if it was whole, but that's probably why it's here. That it broke. We'll take it. I left the foundation because we want to check out some other areas before we run out of daylight. 
this is actually the main area we wanted to come to today and uh, there's an old chimney foundation I think right there or barn but I haven't looked at it yet I haven't looked at chimney stacks Todd's coming up the road but this hollow down through here apparently had an old school house in it and uh, the owner was saying there's a bunch of chimney stacks down through here so we're really excited this is right where we wanted to get and unfortunately <laughs> it's getting close to the end of the day for us sun's uh, up there so we got another couple hours but not too much more than two hours. We've got a long way to hike out of here. All right, let's check this pile out right here real quick and uh, we'll wait for All right, so we think this is probably the schoolhouse. And beyond it should be some chimney, uh, little houses. Yeah, there's some bricks. So we're not 100% on this being the school, but it could be. Looks pretty old. Those are old bricks for sure. All right, we'll check around a little bit here for the detectors. We already left the uh, schoolhouse because there's like uh, just some iron, but we can get a good signal set. Rifle casings, but look at this. It's a piece of railroad rail. <laughs> what do you have here? Probably for logging, I would guess. There's supposed to be some old chimney stacks down here, according to the owner, so we're going to look for them real quick. I think we can do better at a home site than an old school site. It's like the land that time forgot up here, isn't it? All right, so Todd and I um, were back at the foundation, kind of working our way back toward the truck. We have a few hours left, and we thought this would be the best spot for us to try. I know that's the house over there that we looked at earlier. I got a hole. I'm just digging it out to see what's down here, and I just found a bottle that we'll look at together. Oh, those things are stickery. Stickery. A little bit of iron in here. I haven't listened to it with the metal detector yet, but... That's something, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll uh, check it out. Is that a Coca-Cola bottle? <laughs> Almost. I wonder what it is. I thought, I was, oh, that's kind of wild. I don't know how uh, old this house is going to be. I know it's an old house, but I don't know when they, they left it. You know what I mean? May pop. That is a May pop bottle. U.S. patented, patent office registered i don't know how old these are i have no idea because they have a little tree on the bottom i guess a may pop i wonder how old that is <laughs> just popped another small bottle out of the hole um i'm thinking this is probably gonna be like early 1900s this stuff uh that we're finding a lot of tin in here too i oh, just finishing up uh, digging a big piece of iron right here I looked over in the rock pile and I see a bottle. Oh my god, covering up the whole butt. Look at this. I wonder if that's an old one or a new one. What do you think? Oh, it's old. Huh? I'll crawl back in there to get it. Oh, jeez. There go. Oh, I see some animal hair back in there. I don't know what that it's all about. Looks like a dead raccoon. Get back in there or not, but it's a big pile of raccoon fur. Whew. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, he's an oldie. An oldie but a goodie. Boy. Kind of pretty, isn't it? It's got that uh, kind of pinkish color. Because that's from being out in the sun. Yeah, I like it. Ah, <sighs> alright. Best finds eyeball and stuff so far. <laughs> Let's see if there's any more. Probably fell out of like where the wall was or something, I guess. You see that's part of the wall there. Hoy. <sighs> okay. Back at it. Um, climb up on top. Those are round nails there, but I saw this. Check out and see what it is. It's like an electrical thing. Yeah, definitely electrical. Just climbing out of the pile from finding this, and I look down. And, oy, this is a uh, part of the, uh, well, you know, we might have looked at this in the beginning of the video, actually. It could have been another house, part of a lightning rod. There's a big piece of iron down there. That looks like an uh, and iron for fireplace, maybe. There's a piece of iron here. I don't know what this is. I guess we'll never know because it's too big. It doesn't look like a saber or a musket. Pinkish looking bottle there. And I came over to here. It's kind of poking around as I saw this piece of metal. And I looked back in there. That looks like a bottle right there, doesn't it? I don't know if it's going to be a hole. <laughs> It. Wow, that's yeah, old. <laughs> I have no idea how old it is though. I'll definitely save it. So 
hard to say because you know we're finding 1900 era bottles but it's a pretty one at least yeah i like that one that's cool just up from where i found that last green bottle and look it's a bone is it human god hope not <laughs> could be you know Hmm, no idea what that is actually. Hope it's not a baby. Figure around here, see what else is in here. Ooh, no croc, that would have been awesome. Could have been like a little baby that was stuffed in the wall of the house. That'd be horrible, wouldn't it? I think it would be a lot smaller than that. There look small bones down there. Oh, I hope we don't find a skull. I uh, that's pretty small, right? That's probably a pig and oinker. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah it still has the the wick yeah, turner. Wick turner. Yeah, those were important back in the day, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they were. Yep. Lan the lantern piece, in case anyone doesn't know. Parts of a lantern. Just imagine them sitting up here, nighttime, looking out over this. Yeah, people went to bed early back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though, right there. Yep. Awesome, man. Yep. Whew. These things are horrible. Where are these barberries? Well, I'm, I'm, they're cutting me to pieces. Well, this is a, an interesting little find. I actually saw it because I flipped the dirt out. See the impression of it right here. Um, ooh, looky. See if you guys know what this is. I'm not gonna tell you right away. Um, but yeah, look. Oh, you guys <laughs> figured that out pretty quick. That's the uh, inside to a boot. In fact, there's some leather on it still. That's like the uh, insole. I found some of these that are really neat looking. They got like fish scales on them and stuff. Fish scale looking thingies. Um, never found one quite like this, but that's what it is. A lot of broken glass in here and junk. A little bit of pottery, but that's that's like a coppery brass. Beautiful signal. All right, put it away. Just above where I found the shoe. Look at this giant thing. That looks like a old shark's tooth, doesn't it? Like a big old fossilized megalodon tooth. But it's actually just a uh, piece of plow. Plow point. Man, I think it's heavy. I've never seen one quite like that, though. It's quite interesting. So ends another day. Me and Mr. Todd are dragging because we hiked a long ways and we're almost back to the truck. Dying of thirst. But we had a good day. Yep. It's not dark yet, right? Yep. So that's always a good thing. Just around the bend. It's like old man on the mountain. See you on the next one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I don't know. We're going digging again together. After this thing, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. And I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round.